Hi, I'm Oz from Expert Sleepers, and I would like to tell you about my new module uh, for the show, which is the FH2. The FH2 is a MIDI to CV converter and clocking device. It kind of brings everything together um, in a completely configurable way. It's an evolution of my product I used to have called the FH2, uh, sorry, FH1, which was very much uh, a USB MIDI host module that generated CV. This is a USB MIDI host, it's also a USB MIDI device and through a breakout it can speak 5 pin DIN MIDI as well. Um, completely configurable MIDI to CV conversion, be that from keyboards or controllers or things with sliders and pots, um, or from a computer or from a groove box or anything. Making pitch CVs or gates uh, or clocks from any of the clocks. So um, just to play what I've got here, this is a, a Rolly Seaboard block. This is a, a two voice MPE patch where I've got, I've got pitch and I've got um, the pressure is directly going to a VCA rather than going through any kind of gate uh, envelope generator. And on the slide axis I've got a, another CV going to, it's actually a, a wavetable VCO, one of my own in fact the distinct, and that's going to the wavetable CV input to change the sound as I slide. So, so you can get some nice multiple CV, mo I mean I've got four voices actually patched up here if I could be bothered to turn them all on at the moment. Um, so that's one thing it does. Um, I mentioned clocking uh, but I'll just to, by way of that I'll show you this. This is the um, configuration tool for the module. You can configure everything that it does in the module's own screen but it's a bit more friendly to do it in this web browser based interface. So you can see there's lots going on there. Um, so that's, I think it's connected. Yeah, okay, so if I just grab its current state, and if I decide, say, I would like output eight over there to be a clock, I find output eight, type, clock, division, eighth note, and send that over to the FH2. And if I start its clock running now, oh, it was running already. That's now flashing at an eighth note, and that was generating some sound, but I seem to have lost that. I don't know why I can't hear that now. Oh, it's just super quiet. Or something, I don't know. But you, Sorry, technical difficulties. But you can see that things are flashing in time with the sequence. And In terms of clock, that's using its internal clock, which is just start and stop from a button and tempo control. Equally I could over here in the computer start um, Ableton Live going and that's now sending the clock through the MIDI, the USB connection and using that USB clock to do the same thing. So that's the project clock. Ableton yeah, project. Uh, Ableton's clock. Or I could take a clock from a module somewhere else in the system, plug it into one of the inputs use that as the clock and then that will generate MIDI clock back to the computer. Similarly, if I had my Digitax there, I could have that sending a clock or I could send the clock back to the Digitax. So it's complete clock from anywhere to anywhere else. All the outputs can be configured as any clock division you like or reset or start stop pulses or anything can be controlled by a keyboard or a controller or a fader or a slider. And it all just sits there and brings it all together for you. So that's the, the quick quick tour of the FH2. Thank you. Cheers.